Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria. So, guys, um, I'm bringing you guys this episode a little bit, a little bit prematurely. Usually, I don't like to record too far ahead, and right now I have a couple episodes I have not uploaded yet. But this is actually a special case of the reason why I'm recording ahead, and that is because, like, I'm gonna have my wisdom teeth pulled out tomorrow, and for you guys, this will probably be like a few days. Well, this might even be like two weeks after it's already happened, but. Um, basically, I'm gonna be I'm basically gonna be having my wisdom teeth pulled out, and they're going to be extremely painful. So that means I'm probably not gonna be able to talk, which means I probably won't be able to keep up my uh, nice little. Uh... Oh, why do I have men here? Oh yeah, they're my engineers. I was uh, going to make that class some engineers, and basically what we're going to be doing is uh, I won't be able to talk. So, cause as you guys know, once you get your wisdom teeth pulled out. It's bye bye taco, talkish people. So yeah, ooh ooh ooh, we have a new decision. Address the nation. Of course, I'll address my nation. Gives me prestige, and I get address the nation. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to say that, and yeah, it's gonna be painful. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Like it's one of those events. I'm like, uh, cause I've never actually been like drugged per se at least to that extent so it's gonna be very interesting for me to see how how does it feel to actually be drugged it's gonna be like I, I'm wondering if it's like just a tingly feeling like you really just don't feel anything or you just don't really care you're just like yeah I don't care I don't really want to know what's gonna happen but yes it's gonna be interesting like right, pro-military who the hell would choose anti-military oh I just spoiled the reactionary shoot um <laughs> that was not good um so yeah we're going to be doing that, plus I also want to see if I can convert this state right here into an actual, um, uh, actual legit state. If we can actually start converting some of my colonies to actual legit places of, you know, control, that'd be awesome. So, maybe our assimilation will work a little bit better and we can get more and more people over here in this subcontinent to start liking us. I mean, that'd be really nice. Like, having more su southern German people around in my entire colonies would be really nice. And... And people, I'm not forgetting about this. We just got the technology called mass. Um, mass something. Mass media, there we go. And basically what that gives us is it gives us a very special little cause of Belli. And maybe you guys were thinking I wasn't thinking about this, but I was. Because watch this. With this new cause of Belli, we, get, we basically get this special little thing called Dismantle Nation. And what Dismantle Nation does is it basically is a great war cause of Belli. Except... You don't actually have to fight a great war, so it's pretty awesome! So, what we're going to be working for towards is trying to figure out um, how we are going to dismantle the French nation. Because as I said, I don't forgive French. I don't forgive France. They've screwed me over now three times. They screwed me over when they made Italy. They screwed me over for not joining in that war that they should not have joined in. And they screwed me over when they didn't let me unite all my land over here in Africa. Yeah, you don't be that effective at colonization, France! So... Um, there's two ways that we could come about this. Two major ways that will kind of, kind of get the same results and the same ends. Okay, the first way is that we wait for the crisis to fire, which is right here. The crisis between France and uh, Germany. Um, and then when that's happening, we just kind of casually declare war on France and, you know, casually destroy them. You know, that'd be a good idea. I'm not I'm not saying it's not a bad idea. It's just the flaws of the... Oh, by the way, we should also enact the flaws of democracy. Because the flaws of democracy is an awesome event. So, yeah. We're going to start getting some cool pop-ups about democracy. And how we should unite against a communist. Yeah, it becomes really cool. So, no. We will... We could do that. Or we could just try to go in and fight France by ourselves. But I have a feeling that just because they have the Russians on the side, they'll probably be able to beat us back. Only because of Russia's stupidly overpowered manpower. I could probably take them if it was just like us, but both these guys combined, the second and the sixth biggest nation, probably not. So we're gonna call the we're gonna call in the aid of the Germans. So that means for once we're actually gonna be the Germans' friends, which I don't really like the sound of that because being the Germans' friend usually means conquest on your country in some way or another. So yeah. By the way, I'd like to point this out now. I think I'll, I do not believe anything I just said. I just purposely make it more funny if I say it that way. Somehow I just realized that we only have Federalist Party. So that means if we become a totalitarian government in the spake of like two years, I mean, 
my country's been going through a lot of changes. I mean, our government is now literally before before like 1900s, we literally had almost an entirely conservative government. Now all these young people are moving up, and now they want all these things like tricklet pensions and good health care and lower taxes. You can't have that, people. I need my government to work. And for it to work, I need to have high taxes so I can make more fancy machinery, like guns. Understand that. I do it for our safety and for the safety of expansion. So, yeah, it is not for anything personal gain. So, anyways, we can wait for any of those two events, and this will probably... I'm almost believing that we should just wait until, until this crisis fires, because not only will this become a gigantic great war between France and Germany... Because neither France nor Germany will give this land up, which will be awesome to see. But also because then it will force all of the great powers into a big gigantic clash, which will then, like, you know, drag in everyone, and now become a great war caused by like, all on its own. So I won't really have to do anything, which is what I like. So I'm, I'm leaning towards more of that stance. So, yeah. Just wanted to tell you guys everything I was thinking, and... While we're here, we might as well go invade more people because, like, not many of the Europeans are cleaning up these little, like, um, Middle Eastern countries, which is kind of annoying me. So, we're going to go rectify that by destroying them ourselves. Where's our transport fleet? Where's our transport fleet? Uh, gosh, there's so many factories. Okay, yes, forts, 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 forts. Oh, and it seems like there's some bureaucratic... Oh, we still got bureaucrats over here? Dang. Yeah, we moved the focus from over here. Um... We should actually be encouraging, okay, craftsmen, we don't need to be encouraging any more craftsmen, we actually need to cur encouraging capitalists, because most of our country is actually, we have a lot of poor, yeah, we have a lot of poor, <laughs> we really don't need any more, more capital, uh, craftsmen, we just need to kind of get our country back together, if I must be honest with you, I think, where's another place I could probably, okay, Serbia, you guys need some good leadership and some good understanding, so let's get some bureaucrats over there. Because bureaucrats are very helpful in a lot of ways. Although they can get annoying if you're not a part of the bureaucratic system. But other than that, they're pretty fun. So let's see. Where is my Where's my fleet? Seriously, this is kind of annoying me. Where's my fleet? Where's my fleet? Seriously. Alright. Uh, there's my armies. There's my navies. I literally have two... Okay, there it is. Sheesh. Okay. And I have two armies over here. One over down there. One down here. Can I... I still can't upgrade those things. Yeah, I guess... I guess I could probably just use this fleet right here, so I'll use that army right there to go conquer all of uh, basically Middle Eastern countries. And the conservatives decide a decisive victory. Good job, conservatives. You guys are the most closely aligned to my goals. Seriously, if anyone else wins, I'm probably going to be mad. But there's nothing much I can do about it if they do win, because my country is literally a very, very democratic one. Which means that I have no power because... It, I don't have the upper house control anymore. I really, this is just based on population and people are actually wanting to be diplomatic and stuff, which is weird. It, it's so weird for me to consider that. All right, and let's see. So, yeah, Yemen, you guys are gonna have to go. I mean, you guys are pretty fun as just kicking buddies, but eh. Your opium or whatever resource you have there is probably very valuable to me, so I need to go conquer you. Plus, at some point, you guys are probably going to try to kill us, so. It's more also for national sovereignty reasons, too. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. By the way, are we upgrading all of our forts and upgrading everything to the utmost of our abilities? Because we have to make sure we keep doing that. Because as I said, the national sovereignty and protection of our people is what I really care about. And it's totally not the fact that I just love upgrading stuff. It's really not that. Okay. Let's go carry this. Ah! Oh, yeah. Great Britain, really? Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> I really entered... Oh, gosh, I entered this at the wrong... Okay. That that was a stupid mistake on my part. That was... Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Seems like Great Britain was actually a friend of theirs, so... Yeah, we might have to be dealing with a lot of Great Britain raids. But then again, Great Britain really isn't that scary of a person. Oh, gosh. Spain, you have some trouble there. But yeah, because really Great Britain doesn't really attack you, and if they do try to... They're, they're not really going to do anything, they're just going to be more of an annoying pest, if I must be honest with you. Plus, um, this is actually good. If Great Britain declared war on me, I kind of want to do steal this territory right here from Great Britain. Because I do want to kind of unite my colonies at least a little bit. 
So yeah, it's a good thing that they declared war on me. I have two big armies over here. I guarantee you do not have- Oh, they do have a good sized army. Um, <laughs> okay, well that's correction. They do have a good sized army, but I have a better good sized army. So, we should be good. I'm, I'm just basically telling you guys, I'm not scared of Great Britain. It's, it's when they actually, it's not even when, no minimum wage. Why, why do you guys want, oh, I need to get acceptable minimum wage, uh, acceptable minimum wage. You know what, let's get that for our people. I love giving people more stuff. Not really, but they don't, they become less mad at me if I give them more stuff. Okay, you guys get inside here. Because apparently, I'm going to have to be dealing with a great British naval power. Which, usually, Great Britain's usually pretty top in naval sophisticated, sophisticated. They're very specialized in Navy, so I'm probably gonna have to deal with that, by the way, uh, keep making more new, keep making, keep, yeah, keep, keep making my land really hard to conquer, I mean, look at this, because I built some forts all the way over here, this, this land's gonna take a long time for them to conquer, which is good, which gives me some time to go conquer more Great Britain land. And let's see, are they attacking any of my other forts? And Portugal's helping me out, I think, no, I didn't call in any of my allies, actually, if I remember correctly, yeah. I'm just fighting this just because I can fight this, and it's really, that's a really selfish reason, but I don't really care. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an emperor, I'm an emperor, and I can do whatever I want. You guys want to mess with me? Come and mess with me. I got you all gonna die. You all gonna die. Okay, yeah. We got the Suez Canal also giving us money, which is nice. Um... Now, the one thing, again, the one thing I am worried about is that the Great British, the Great British will actually get off the high legs and heels and actually try to come do something against me. It's a very small, oof, my goodness, they have like six big armies over here, okay. We might need to send in more soldiers than I thought down there, so I'm actually gonna go, um, get some of my steamers and get some more men from my, uh, place over here. And since I already know a lot of these, since I already know what a lot of these places are, I already know if Great Britain's gonna try anything over here. I don't want the poor mad at me. Please don't make the poor mad at me. Okay. Yeah. There's like six big armies down here, so probably need about six of my own armies. I'm pretty advanced right now in terms of warfare. Um, not sure if uh, Great Great Britain has gas attacks. If they don't have gas attack abilities, we might be able to beat them really quickly. But if they do, it it might be a it might be a little bit of a, well, yeah. Oh, and look, some of these other nations right over here haven't really westernized yet. I should really start thinking about them, too, in terms of conquest. Okay, well, let's see. We should be winning this war pretty handily. Huh. You got, how am I not winning this by a lot? Okay, you guys. I'm going to piece you, once I have the opportunity, I'm going to piece you guys out individually. And I'll just fight Great Britain with the core of them going to have to free you guys from their clutches. Cause that's a way easier possibility to deal with than the one they're thinking about. So, yeah. Anyways, though, we have two... And the Great British aren't even mobilized right now. They're so cocky right now. They're being so cocky. And, really, I shouldn't be this cocky, but I really don't get to get the British that big of a threat. It's it's really like, they're there, and I know that they could be a th Oh, God. Bulgaria, can you deal with that? Please tell me you guys can deal with that. Don't, don't make me send in this 51k to go mop up five five regiments please thank you thank you for getting that under control seriously that's embarrassing all right you guys Yemen I don't care you guys are being annexed you guys cannot okay how can you deny me not annexation I literally have all your country underneath my control wait is this yours oh that's yours too whoops wait wait I need my oh gosh okay so I'm gonna go send this army Oh uh, yeah, this is, uh, that's not the best army I could come up with. I guess I'll go send this army right here. You guys go right there. Swap out places, basically. I'm doing a good switcheroo. Okay. Let's see. Maintenance, patrolatory controls. Let's see. Great Britain's mostly consolidating all its power over here. Trying to take down all my good colonies. Yeah, you guys are going to have a terrible time with these colonies. These are all level 4s. These are all level 4s. And they're pretty hard to take down. What we're going to do is we're just going to casually conquer all this land up here and then we're going to add him as a, add that as a war goal. In fact, do I still have enough war score? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this part as an actual war score, uh, war goal. That way we can get not only the fact that we annex all of Yemen as a, uh, you know, war thing that's going in our favor, but also the fact that we have some land in there. So we're going to do that now. That way, just in case... <laughs> I don't want to do the war for you. Wait, do I have a good free cut spell with this? Wait a minute. 
Wait, how do I, how do I get a free pass to go dismantle the British Empire? I I, I don't want to do that, but why do I get a free pass? I what? <laughs> okay, there's some things, people. Okay, I was, you know, I could totally take that, but really, I wasn't really geared towards trying to fight the British. In fact, the British just coming out of here was just kind of a random thing, and I don't really care about the British. The British haven't really done anything wrong to me. And that's usually, that's a pretty weird saying for me, because usually I have to find something wrong with the British, but the British didn't really do anything to me in this game. So I can't really say it was like, for proper revenge, I'd have to kill them. So, we're just gonna, I just wanna take the land, okay? I don't really care about anything else. Everyone else can have a problem with them, but that's all I have an issue with. By the way, who, what do you guys want? 14 hour workdays? Sure. 14 hour workdays, you guys get 14 hour workdays. Now please stop being angry at me. You guys go right there, you guys go right there. Alright. Alright, and then Yemen. I will eventually be able to conquer you guys. Just give me a second. I'm gonna have to get more troops. Okay, you guys get on here. Go to Tunis. And yes, Tunis, one of my best city-states. Hey, Tripoli, you guys are also upgrading your guys' naval base. Yes, you are. Good. Because I was making sure. We have to make sure we have maximum amount of naval, naval building space as possible. Because if we don't, we could be screwed in that matter. Okay, militaristic directionism. Yeah, this war is gonna probably drag me into depression. Not even gonna deny. Okay, you guys go down here. Start helping control more of this land. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're basically just sieging up land I don't even really care about. I, I, I really wish I could say I care about my colonies to a certain extent, but really I don't. They're really just there to provide me money. And I guess I, and a good mutual relationship provides that I do provide some education and some good health stuff, but really they're just there to provide me money. Okay, what do you guys want? Strict standards, okay. We could do that. Strict standards, there you guys go, bada beam, bada boom, stop being mad at me. Oh my goodness, that may have made me bankrupt. <laughs> Oops. Gee doodles. Luckily, I have a really good economy right now, and I could easily tax up my people pretty, pretty good. Plus, I have like 34 million in the bank right now. I mean, literally, no one else is going to beat that number. Okay. You guys go right there. Go pick up that army. Okay. And let's go right here to Sokoda and do our magical thing. By the way, is there any, are they coming up at any point? Britain's down there, so not going to be able to get any good. Ooh. Man, there's like a lot of... Yeah, they attacked me and probably got... Okay, they do not have gas attacks capabilities, which is good to note. But at the same time, they're also... Man, yeah, we gotta get faster transports over here in the Sahara Desert, seriously. Because I want to make sure my troops can actually do stuff. If they can't be... If they can't actually do stuff, that's bad. We need to make sure we have faster transports between these regions. Uh, yeah, go destroy that army. Yeah, because they just tried to attack me, which means... And I won, so that means they probably don't have the same amount of militaristics I do. You guys go right there. Oh yes, I love I love transports. And yes, there is a good there is a bad thing about having all my transports like this and there should be you should not do this, but for me, since I don't really focus on having a big military a navy usually, I don't know why, it's just something I neglect in almost every one of my games. Uh it really just having transports like that usually helps me out a lot more. Low pensions. You ain't getting that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't afford it. I can't afford to give you guys low pensions. Sorry, there, there's some things I can give you guys. But low pensions, campaign for old age security. Oh my goodness. Really? Ugh. Okay, we're gonna try it. I'll try it for like a week, but if you guys, if I get to, oh my goodness, you guys, are, you guys are terrible. Okay, we open all the factories. Yeah, seriously, come on guys, work. Don't you dare start becoming lazy on me. Okay. There we go. Now Yemen is completely underneath my control. They cannot disaccept my generous offer. So, now that we have this, now this is working against the British. Which means... Which basically means, guys, that we have... We just have to wait until, like... Okay, let me just expand all this land. And give them a proper good fort. This is probably also on Soul Island. Yes. Now, basically, what that means is that these guys are now going to have to fight me. Oh, sn snapples. Go, men! Hurry! Do not die. Do not die. Okay, okay. 
I just want my men not to die. That's all I'm going to be hoping for. How close are you guys? You guys are moving at an insanely slow rate. In fact, you guys moved it to the one place I didn't actually have railroad set up. Good job. Um, okay. You guys, get onto the boats, and we're going to go send you guys uh, to somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.